yards. Everything is moving so fast. We are so connected, but there is actually a lack in quality of connection. And making sure that we're always thinking about how to have richer communication is an absolute must. My main fascination has always been the human voice. Uh, I fell in love with its potential to do some of the most extreme vocal techniques that there are. Uh, and it's really, really fascinating how being aware of your voice has a real direct impact on your quality of life. That is the most important thing, is how you can create more from yourself. <laughs> Through speaking, and making sure you have the right environment around you is what allows us to break through glass ceilings. There's a massive AI conversation in terms of how it affects our idea of identity, our idea of self. I'm so interested in the role of an artist in that world. AI is a massively empowering tool. It can be used to power nuclear weapons or it can be used to help millions and millions of people. At the moment, there's no filter and it's the artist's responsibility and making sure people are engaging with these ideas. They're aware of how machine learning works. I've recorded several hours of data of me performing, speaking, and we've created a, an AI simulated second version of my voice that I can actually interact with. It's a voice project. We start with the very human ideas around the voice, how it's impacting people's daily lives, and we end with ideas around the future of the human voice. There's this established, not stopping momentum in AI and industry, but there is a lot of mystery in the idea of how these things can be used for direct cultural inspiration. People need to fill this dark zone and create new narratives around AI so that it's actually engaged with.